it's Sarah, and today we're going to stretch. Lower body specific stretches today. I know I need those, and probably some of you do too. All you're going to need is a mat and a towel if you like. It's going to be about a 20 minute workout. You could do it as a standalone workout if you want to just do something nice for yourself. Or you could do it at the end of any of your workouts as a cool down and stretch after you've worked hard with one of my 30 minute or 30 minute plus workouts. All right? So don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so by clicking the link below. Set your notifications to on so you know every time there's a new workout for you and share it with your friends because everybody likes free fitness. So let's get going with a stretch. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so I hope you're ready to do a little stretching, lower body specific. Let's just start out by moving side to side. A nice gentle stretch of the inner thigh, keeping the body upright. If you're doing this as a standalone workout, you may want to spend a little more time doing a warm up than what we are right now. Um, I'm posting this up at the same day that I post a lower body workout. It'll be um, a freestanding workout, but also attached to the bottom of that workout. Great, great stretch to do post lower body on any, or on any of the cardiovascular workouts that I have um, posted up earlier. Okay, so let's go deeper and hold on the side, keeping that chest lifted. I love doing barefoot workouts, so this one's perfect for me. And let's come up and now over to the other side. Very good. Now we're going to come back up to the center, and I'd like for I'm going to get up on my mat a little bit better so that I'll have a little better footing. So we're going to bend both knees. We've done this before in the other stretch that I posted. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to bring my elbows to the inside of my thighs and what in yoga would be called prayer hands to uh, my chest. And the only reason I have that doing that is so I can apply a little pressure to my inner thighs. And as I apply pressure to my inner thighs, they push outward and then I try to sink further down into that stretch. It's an excellent stretch as a hip opener. I have really tight hips. Um, I'm sure some of you do too, so this is an excellent stretch. From here, I'd like to place the hands on the floor. And all we're gonna do is extend our legs out, full extension, body tipped forward towards the center of the legs and then come back in butt down back to that full extension letting your body push upper body pushing through towards the center of the legs i'll show you from the side from here let's bend the legs again and then we're going to straighten the legs butt towards the ceiling and now I want my upper body to push through towards the center of my legs. Let's do that one more time, that feels so good. Pushing through. All right, I'm gonna turn back around. All we're gonna do is take our legs a little bit wider and we're gonna come over on this right side. It's the same stretch that we did at the very beginning, only a little deeper this time into that stretch. So if you can come down to your elbows, that's great. If you can't come down, you may, come, may be able to come down further than that. Um, or the hands is perfect. You just wanna feel that tightening in the inner thigh, stretching. And you wanna hold this in a static stretch, not a ballistic, bouncy stretch. Let's come up and over on the other side. I'm excited about adding um, to my YouTube some stretching videos. I don't do enough stretching, so this certainly will help me one more time to become better at it. 
add a little more stretch, a little more flexibility into your life. All right, I'm gonna give you a nice big challenge here. We're gonna just rotate our body towards the other side. So you got one foot behind, one foot in front, this foot's flat. And if you can come with your hands on the inside of that foot, that's awesome. If not, you may be here. And if you have, you could rest on your thigh, chest forward. If that's as good as, as flex, much flexibility as you have, it's perfectly fine. You gotta work with where you're starting. You may be able to come down here. Um, you should feel this stretch in the hip of the bent, the front leg, and then in the hip flexor, or the front of the trailing leg. I'm gonna kind of try to sink down into that so that I feel it more in my hip flexor. Gonna hold it there. I like to hold my stretches. Let's come up, and now we're just gonna switch over to the other side. Get your feet in a good, strong position. Hands down, sink down into that stretch if you can. Once again, perfectly fine to be here with the chest lifted. Now while we're here, let's just drop that knee and then place the top of the foot down on the ground. A little different feel here. Trying to keep the tummy pulled in. All right, we're gonna put those toes down and push up again. And let's go around to the other side. And do that stretch on the other side where we bring the knee down. Toes down, chest up. The inner thigh of this front leg is against my arm. Let me show you here. So you wanna make sure when you're in this stretch where you're dropped down, that your inner thigh is against the arm, really close, and not like winged out here to the side. Okay, from here, let's just come on down into a seated position. We're gonna have a sit. I'll turn over here to the side a bit. And I'm gonna put the soles of my feet together. Nice chest lifted, back tall. Soles of the feet together and pulled towards me. Now you might be here. That might be as flexible as you are and that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna be able to come into here a little bit. And then I'm gonna press down against my inner thighs with my forearms. Chest is lifted. I'm gonna grab my toes if you can, and then just kind of not rounding the back, but tipping from the hip. So it doesn't look like I go very far, but I feel that in my inner thighs, and so will you. So chest forward, elbows pushing down towards the leg. You'll also find that, if you're like me, you have one side that's more flexible than the other. And when I do stretches in particular like this one, I really feel that, um, that one side that's a little more tight than the other one. Let's relax that. Let's do that one more time. We start out pressing down, chest up. And now grabbing your feet, if you can. And from the hip, leaning forward. Not rounding, but just forward. You may not barely move. That's perfectly fine. You'll work towards being able to move more freely in this position. Keep those knees pushing down. A lot of people may have your knees on the floor. I have never been able to do that, but it's a goal. Everybody should have goals, right? Okay, let's come on around here. So what I'd like for you to do now is place one foot in front of the other. So the four, the, the lower leg is 
right straight against the center of your body. And you have your other leg tucked behind you. Now this may be a challenging position for you. If not, uh, we're gonna make it a little more challenging. But from here, if this doesn't work for you, having your leg tucked back like that, it hurts your knee or hurts something else, then just go ahead and extend out here in front of you, all right? You can do the same thing I'm getting ready to do, which is lean forward. Um, and eventually you may be able to get into this position where I'm trying to keep my hip down on the floor. And from here, I'm gonna lean forward right here. And I'm just gonna hold in this position, nice and easy. So I feel that gentle stretch. Now the once I mentioned this in my other video, it's really, really easy if you're a fairly strong person to put yourself in positions where you are um, pushing yourself into that stretch more than you should. So you want to feel that stretch, but it shouldn't be hardly painful and you should be able to breathe normally through it, taking nice deep breaths to help to relax yourself. Let's come on up. I'd like to bring the top leg or the back leg around and put it on top of the other leg. So I'm going to tuck this leg in a little bit more and I'm going to swing this leg across. And now I'm just going to sit up really tall. I had a little cramp there. I often get cramps when I'm stretching because I am not the most flexible person. So if you see me like jerk, that's because I had a cramp somewhere. All right, so all I'm gonna do, I got my, this is my right leg, but I'm gonna go the same side arm reaching behind me. Opposite side arm reaching across so that my elbow is on the outside of that knee and my hand is down towards my hip. Now I'm gonna just stretch back and hold, trying to keep the chest lifted. Feeling that stretch deep into the hip. And it's a nice low back stretch too, kind of like twisting the torso. Keep the chest up. Let's come around into the other side. So we start with the lower leg parallel to the body. The back leg tucked in, or if that doesn't work for you, you can extend right here, nice tall back. And if, try to sit down into that, and now we're gonna lean forward if you can. This is my tighter side. I never get down as far on this side. Take some nice deep breaths, relax into this stretch. Just kind of enjoy it for for what it is, it's, it's nice to kind of just do um, a form of exercise which doesn't tax your body quite as much. I love cardio work, I love strength work, I, I do them both constantly as you know, but this is the component that we forget about, the component of treating our body nice in a different way. Come on back up, back leg comes across to the front, the front leg tucks in just a bit. You're gonna cross over, knee comes in, opposite arm around, same side arm behind. Lift the chest as you apply a little pressure with your elbow to the outside of that knee. Almost there. Hold that stretch. All right, come on around. So this is where I'm going to use a yoga strap. If you have a yoga strap, that's awesome. I forgot to tell you about it in the opening, but you could pause and go grab it if you need it, or a towel, like a hand towel or a bath towel, depending upon how flexible you are. I like the yoga strap because it's easy to hold. So. We're going to extend our legs out to the front. Now, I can do this without the yoga strap, but I find 
for me personally, it's more effective with a yoga strap. So I'm gonna place the yoga strap on the ball or just below the ball of my foot around the arch of my feet, extended. And all I'm gonna do is pull myself forward. Now, this is another one of those not rounded, but chest forward, okay? So I'm bending at the hip, reaching forward. You could do a little experiment and do this both ways and feel the difference. Here, I don't feel it nearly as much as I feel it if I bend from hinge from the hip and chest forward. I feel that a whole lot more in both my butt and my hamstring. Let's relax. We'll do it again. Here we go. All right, relax. We're gonna go one more time. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is lie down on your back. I'm gonna keep my strap because I'm gonna use it in this position too. I'm gonna turn just a little bit here so I can see the clock. I don't wanna to run too far over because I've been trying to make these videos um, short enough that you guys feel like you can do them. All right, so from here, I still have my strap against my arch of my foot. I'm gonna extend my leg out. I'm gonna grab the strap or the towel or just your leg if, that's, if you have that. I'm not real flexible here, so I don't, I don't come back very far. You may be able to come back all the way. I've seen people that can just like straighten their leg all the way out behind them. I cannot do that. I've never been able to do that. But see my other leg, the one that's not doing the stretch, keep it flat. Keep it flat on the floor. Keep your hips down on the floor. And nice big pull. Relax. I hope you're enjoying this. I am. Let's go again. Got some super cool music. And relax. Let's just add another foot. Switch it out. Nice big stretch. And once again, you could be doing this with your arms. If you don't have a strap, pulling back. Perfectly fine. This just works better for me. You could use a bath towel or a hand towel. That works great too. I had one of my subscribers uh, message me the other day and tell me that the tips that I gave her on using like the strap or the bath towel helped her so much because she's not very flexible. Let's pull back again. And it, it helped her to um, see that she could do a lot of the flexibility exercises and she didn't really realize it it was hard for her without a little bit of help. All right, let's relax here. So all we're gonna do is sit up now. I'm gonna put my strap off to the side. And I'd like to come back into that straight leg position. I'm gonna tuck one leg in, one leg out. Gonna lean forward again from the hip. So hinging from the hip instead of rounding the back down. So I hinge from the hip and I reach forward. Stretching out the back of that leg just a little differently. Come on up, nice deep breath. And again. Go to the other side. All right, so chest up, hinge forward. As you can see, I'm not going down nearly as far because this is where I am tight. I have a torn labrum in this hip and it just does not have the flex level of flexibility the other one does. Probably because I protected it for a long time. All right, 
We're gonna do a crazy looking stretch, but it's awesome. It's called a, I don't know, frog stretch is what I heard it called. I'm sure it has other names too. You're gonna bring your legs out wide. I'm gonna get in a position, try to get in a position here where you can see where. So my legs are wide, all right? My hands are on the floor. And see how my feet are gonna be turned outward. Outward, and then I'm just gonna sit back here. All I'm gonna do now is push my hips back and try to sink further down in. It's a great hip opener stretch. Relax by coming forward. Try to work your knees out just a little further, legs, and then push back. When you push back, you feel that stretch deep into the inner thighs and the groin. Relax. Let's go one more time. All right, so we're at 20 minutes is what I promised you, but I think we'll go a little further than that because I still have a couple of stretches that I'd like to do with you. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> nice. All right, relax that stretch. Just bring your feet in together first and then pull the inner thighs in towards one another. All right, so let's come onto um, your hands and knees. And all we're gonna do here is just for the low back, kind of loosen up the low back a bit if it needs more. And we're gonna do something called an angry cat. The angry cat rounds the back up. So see how I suck my tummy belly button in towards the spine and then I'm gonna round up and drop the head and I tilt and tuck the pelvis under. You can put your feet down if that's fine. And relax. Now I come to a flat back when I relax. Now I'm gonna do the opposite of that. And so instead of rounding my back up, I'm going to let it sag in the center and then like a, an old horse that's been ridden a lot, how their back will have a sway. That's what you want to try to accomplish. So I let my middle sag and my tailbone rise towards the ceiling and then my head and my chest come up too. Let's reverse that. Flat back and then round the back up. Angry cat, tuck the head, drop the head down. Belly button sucks in towards the spine. And back to the flat back. Head up, hips up. Head up. And then back to the flat back. Let's lift the hips to the ceiling and the feet heels to the floor. Nice, big stretch, Keep trying to get those heels down. If you can't, that's fine for your heels to be up. Let's press back, stretching out those calves and your Achilles tendons. So I'm going to bend both knees just a little bit and walk my hands back in. So I'm just kind of hanging forward. Nice gentle stretch here. Really feel that stress relieving in the low back as you hang forward. So I'm going to place my hands against the thighs above the knee. I'm going to bend the knee slightly. And from here, I'm just going to lift up. Flat back, lift, and roll up. Take a nice deep breath. Blowing out. And again. Blowing out. One more. Blowing out. And from here, let's go palms forward. Rounding the back. Chest up. 
And again, palms forward and rounding the back. All right, thank you so much. Take a nice deep breath. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you to feel nice and relaxed. It sure did me. And get my hips all stretched out because I really need that. Um, hope you do too, or maybe not, I hope you do too, but if you do too, I hope that it helps. All right, so I will see you next time, but until then, get your workout in. Thanks for joining me. <laughs>